In today's lesson, we're going to hear about when God meets Moses at the top of Mount Sinai and gives him the 10 best ways to live. This is the desert. The desert is a dangerous place. People don't go into the desert unless they have to. There's little water and there's little food. During the day, the sun is so scorching hot that the people have to wear a lot of clothes to protect themselves from it. And at night, it's so cold that the people need to wear a lot of clothes to keep themselves warm. Moses led the people of God the 12 tribes of Israel out of Egypt. And through the waters to freedom. Now that the people were free, where would they go? They could go anywhere they wanted to go and do anything they wanted to do, where will they go now? As the people traveled across the desert, God showed them where to go. He led them by fire at night and smoke by day. But the people of God began to complain. They wanted more food. They wanted more water. Some even said they should go back to Egypt. God led the people to a mountain. Mount Sinai. The mountain was covered in fire and smoke. Only Moses could go up the mountain. And there, he came so close to God, and God came so close to him, that he knew what God wanted him to do. God wanted him to write the Ten Best Ways, also called the Ten Commandments, on stones and bring them down the mountain to the people. God gave the Ten Best Ways to Moses, Moses gave the ten best ways to the people, and they gave them to us. These are the ten best ways. They tell us to love God to love people and that God loves us. Mm -hmm. Don't serve other gods. Mm -hmm. Make no idols to worship. Be serious when you say my name. Keep the Sabbath holy. Honor your mother and father. 
don't kill. Don't break your marriage. Don't steal. Don't lie. Don't even want what others have. I know, these things are hard. God didn't say these are the ten easy, th easy things to do. These are the ten best ways to live. The Ten Commandments. They are hard, perhaps even impossible. They mark the best way, like stones can show the right path. Now I wonder, which one of the ten best ways to live do you like best? I wonder which one is most important. I wonder if there are any that we can leave out and still have all we need.